Good evening, everybody, and thank you very much for joining us. As the temperature drops and the wind chill factor dips below zero, a major snowstorm has blanketed the Texas Panhandle. Many people there are saying it's the harshest winter in the last five years, dumping anywhere from 6 to 12 inches of snow in the area. Channel 8's Valerie Williams is braving the cold outside of Amarillo in a small town called Headley and joins us now live. Valerie, how bad is the weather right now? Well, Jeff, I was about to say that the winds had died down slightly since our live shot at 6 o'clock, but wouldn't you know, just before we went on the air, they picked up again. To give you an idea of how bad uh, and biting the cold weather is, we try and stay in the satellite truck until 5 or 10 minutes before we're supposed to go on the air, and then we move outside. And during that short amount of time, it's not uncommon for both our feet and hands to go almost completely numb. Now, the reason the town of Headley is so important is that this is really the point of no return on the way to, to uh, Amarillo. Uh, what happens is uh, the conditions here, the weather conditions here are very bad, but once you get out of Headley and head on the way up to Amarillo, the conditions get even worse. Your old man weather, really. Give it to us today. People in the panhandle say they're feeling Mother Nature's wrath. They believe they're paying the price for several years of mild winters. We hear the trip is now taking three hours in the near blizzard conditions. Now it doesn't look like the conditions are going to get much better tomorrow, which by the way happens to be the heaviest traffic day of the year because of the Thanksgiving holidays. Emerald authorities would certainly be thankful if they could avoid what happened today. There was a 200 car pileup on Interstate 40 uh, and it was a chain reaction caused by the uh, sleet, the slick conditions, and the uh, high winds that went on for 1.5 miles. Most likely, I-40 will be closed again tomorrow for at least all or part of the day. And authorities ask that if you can stay out of this area, please do so. It will make their jobs a lot easier, and it will certainly be safer for travelers. Reporting live, I'm Valerie Williams. Back to you, Chip and Tracy. Valerie, we understand that the wind chill factor out there earlier today was uh, 13 below. <laughs> Sounds like you're having a hard time talking. It must be miserable out there. All right, you're going to have to re-ask that question. The wind is blowing so hard I can hardly hear you. <laughs> well, it looks like a, a bad spot to be in. We hope you'll get warm later on tonight, Valerie. Hey, I, oh, please, yes. <laughs> Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, thank you. <coughs> well, the snow hasn't made it as far as North Texas. <laughs> uh, forgive us. You folks. know, here in Fort Worth, it doesn't get cold very often, but when it does, it's cold. Local <laughs> residents bundled up tonight as the wind chill factor fell into the teens. Heavy coats and hats were the attire for the evening for those who dared to brave the cold. But the brisk winds prevented many from stepping out. And that left the West End in Dallas short a few customers tonight.